Hi guys. So I'm um, coming at you live with no makeup on because I kind of just wanted to show you my routine and then just show you. I guess I should wait until people get on. I don't do lives that often on Instagram. So thank you guys so much. I love the hearts and I feel like I'm not alone in the world. Um, okay, so I'll just kind of start off by giving you guys like a brief, the briefest overview I can, I can of kind of what I've been dealing with since about, so I always had good skin pretty much, you know, I had my breakouts and I had my issues, but in, even in high school, I didn't have a lot of problems. And then around about the time I had Billy, when I was pregnant with him, my skin was okay. And then after I had Billy, who's all, who's three now, uh, my skin just was not happy. I noticed like a lot of texture happening in my forehead and texture that I didn't really like seeing um, on my cheeks. And then I really had like, I, I wish I could take you guys through all of my pictures. Love you too. Um, I wish I could take you through all my pictures because after I kind of <laughs> could face the facts after my skin cleared up, I would go through and see that literally at all times I was nursing some sort of massive zit back back to health or um, getting a new one on my chin. So I just, I had heard that that was hormonal. So I just thought, okay, well that's hormonal. There's not a lot, a lot I can do about that. Um, but my chin literally, if there wasn't a zit coming, there was already a zit there. And it was really just breaking out all the time. So in every picture I go back to, I have like, if you look really closely, I'm either covering a zit or I have one peeking through. Um, hi Shelby. So then to add more fun to the game, I started getting um, just kind of along the jawline and in this area, I started getting just bumps, which were really frustrating because even if I could cover, like the color wasn't a problem as much as if I, even if I covered them, the, um, the texture would still show through. And forehead zits, it really was just becoming a huge deal. Not to mention, I had a lot of discoloration. If you look back at the picture that I posted, I had discoloration on my brow here that is completely gone. And I had just kind of spots of discoloration starting all over my face. And that was well after um, pregnancy. So it wasn't like pregnancy mask or anything. It was just discoloration. So that's a long story short. And then on top of that, I've tried, I tried everything. I tried microderm, I tried peels and all different kinds of, I'd gone through different sets. I was just like, I need to invest in this. So I was willing to spend a lot of money, um, a lot of money to me. I felt like, you know, a few hundred dollars for a whole set was incredibly expensive. And especially if it didn't work and it broke me out more. And on top of that, my skin was getting very irritated. Um, tops of the cheeks here, it was getting irritated. So I felt like even if something cleared me up a little bit as far as the zits and the stuff here went, I would be more irritated here. It was driving me crazy. So I had already, um, I don't know if you guys know about milk. Um, so I had already found milk. My esthetician found milk um, and I hounded down the guy that made it and I was like, this is amazing um, because nothing had ever hydrated my skin before until I got this. And so I found him and I'd been using this and it was the first time my skin had ever been hydrated in my whole life. Like, well, at least in my adult life, it had always been dry. So I finally got milk, but my skin still wasn't clearing up. Um, so I'd had this for a couple of years um, and it did help a lot of things. It helped my under eye circles, which I thought was kind of shocking. And it helped with just the hydration and it did help help if I had irritation, but it was kind of like I was doing a fighting or a battle between getting rid of all my hydration, then putting it back and so on and so forth. So I got pretty stressed. Um, so anyway, I called the guy who made this, who's like this amazing scientist, and he just knows how to do products that have really scientific results without using really crazy, um, irritating products. So it's not high chemical, it's actually just like nice, good products that go well with your skin because he uses lactic acid and he's like this milk scientist. Anyway. So I called him because I knew he had a toner and a cleanser. And in the beginning I was kind of like, I tried oil cleansing before and every time I did it, my skin didn't, wasn't irritated anymore and it wasn't bothered anymore, but then I would get very congested skin. So I'd get blackheads 
and I'd get way more chin zits. So I felt like it was this weird situation where I was fighting this battle between science and natural, uh, hydrating and drying out. And so I thought maybe I should just try this um, lactic acid type stuff and see if that's kind of like the in-between that I need. So I called him and I said, I'm desperate, I'll do anything, like just get me the cleanser and the toner also. So he sent me the cleanser and the toner um, and I started using that and I'll show you how to use that. Um, but I first wanna get all the other things that I changed out on the table. So, so you saw me before and after, that was about six weeks. And since then, I li literally cannot tell you the honest truth. I literally have not had a zit on my chin since I made these changes. Not a single one. Literally, I, I keep saying that because it's amazing to me. For the first little while, and it's probably not good because you're not supposed to touch your face, I would just check and I would just be like, is this really happening? And then I just kept waiting for the dream to be over and for my zits on my chin to come back because I was like, I know they're going to come back because I'm going to get a period and they're going to come back, but they didn't. So it was kind of wild. So the first thing I did was I threw out everything else I was using and I just went to simplistic these few things. Um, the other thing I did was I threw away my Clarisonic. This is actually an extra one that I had. Um, that I found for this video, but I have not used it. Um, I know a lot of people swear by them when I first started using it, I really loved it, but um, depending, maybe if you're like super, super, super diligent about changing these out, you know, every few weeks, um, I found that when I stopped using mine, I think I was just harboring bacteria in it and I wasn't changing it out enough. I thought I was cleaning it properly. Um, I thought I was changing them out often enough, but when I stopped using this, it was a huge, um, improvement um, on top of using this product because I just feel like also I would never use these with anything that doesn't um, have like a sulfate in it or whatever bubbles and this cleanser does not bubble so I just felt like it was gonna harbor bacteria and so I totally got rid of that the second thing I did was I started cleaning my brushes more often and I still find that I will start to get those bumps that I was talking about here if I don't clean my brushes. Um, yeah, there's a lot of weird language comments on here. I don't know what's going on with that. So, um, not that I like, I like languages, I just don't know how to read them. <laughs> so, um, okay. So that I clean my brushes more often, which I have a brush cleaner that I will show you in another video that is incredible and makes it so much easier because it sanitizes and cleans them without having to go with all the rigmarole, getting them completely soaked and all of that. So I will show you that. And that's actually a Black Friday deal coming up. So I better show you that soon. But I just want to kind of show you my system. And um, let me just show you the products first. So this is the cleanser and it's called Milk and it's just lactic acids. It's very natural very, if you look at the, you can like pronounce all of the ingredients. Um, it's very soothing. And then this is the toner. Um, same thing, it's got the lactic acid. What it does is it balances your pH and the pH being awry can cause all kinds of crazy stuff on the surface of your skin. So that, and then I use the milk as the moisturizer, the milk um, cream. And then for, for exfoliation, I completely stopped using anything that, um, you know, anything kind of like this or anything with like sugar scrubs or anything that just kind of had an abrasion on the outer edge of my skin um, because of just what I was reading and what I was um, researching found that I found that I was really breaking down the layers of my skin that were protecting it. And then all of this bacteria was able to get in and cause a problem. So I wasn't being gentle enough with my skin and I always thought I really had burly skin that wasn't sensitive, but as I got older, the sensitivity was getting more and more a problem because I was breaking down those outer layers that couldn't really handle it anymore and then the zits and the bacteria was getting in. So I started using this, it's called, it's June Jacobs brand um, and it's the Papaya Purifying Enzyme Mask so rather than scrub off that, and the other one that I really love is Cure, um, and it's kind of the same thing. I, I can't read the ingredients because they're in, I think, Chinese or Japanese, but I posted about this before. It's the same kind of thing where it just sloughs off the dead skin rather than, you know, scraping it off. 
So I actually prefer this June Jacobs one. June Jacobs one. It's quite a bit more expensive. I think this one is sixty dollars and this one is twenty dollars. So obviously a big difference. But I just love the way it feels so gentle. It smells so good. I put it on. I can just feel how soft my skin is after I use it. Which with the with Cure you feel super baby soft after you use it. Um, so really just go by your budget, whichever you're really in the budget for. Um, I love them both, but I just tend to grab at this one more. So that's kind of what I go through. Go by when I'm saying which one I like better. I, t I really haven't even used Cure in a while because I just love this one so much. So anyways, I'm gonna just kind of go through and show you how I do it. So this comes in kind of a dropper, which is, it's a different cleanser than you're used to. And then it almost feels like you're putting lotion on. It smells really good. It just smells very clean. It doesn't smell perfumey. I always hate that feeling when I'm putting on stuff and it smells perfumey. And I'm just like, I don't need it to smell good. I need it to work. So don't put a bunch of perfumes in there. That's going to make it work less. Um, yes, I will link all the products for sure. I Let's see. I'll just... Oh, I think I can tag them in my post. Um, so, but most of them are just straight. So the cleansers are all straight from mascarabeauty.com and they're all going to be on a crazy, crazy good deal on Monday, so Cyber Monday. So sorry, let me just tell you what I'm doing. I take a microfiber cloth, I just get these on Amazon, and then I get warm water, and I just go over it like this. Just get it all off. And I haven't put on makeup this morning, so there's not like a ton, but there's quite a bit for not having put on makeup. But it's probably tanner, because I wear tanner a lot. Um, so then I took off all of the cleanser. I think this cloth is huge, and I just get seven of them on Amazon, so that I only have to wash them once a week, and then I just wash them all, and I'm always using a clean cloth. And then, um, oh, so the deal on Cyber Monday, these usually, the three of these, the milk, um, the toner, and the cleanser all together are usually 95. So on Monday, they're actually 75, which is like a crazy low deal, probably the lowest they'll ever be. Um, so definitely, if you're wanting to try it, we have a great return policy if it doesn't work for you, but we've had such good results from it. And it works on young skin, like teenage skin. It works on everyone. My, my nephew like swears by it. He's been using it and his skin is so much less inflamed and so much smoother. Okay, so this feels so soothing. This is the toner. So then I just spray it on. I just covered my eyebrows because they just barely got microbladed. So I kind of cover them and my eyelashes just in case. I spray it on and then I just kind of blend it in. Oh, it feels so good. It's just really soothing. They all kind of have that same scent that's just, it's a very natural, almost a milk scent, but not, kind, not I don't know, it doesn't, it's very hard to explain. And I'm terrible at, at explaining scents. Um, but if you've used it before, throw in your scents in there. Um, then the milk, which I kind of let the um, toner dry a little bit before I put the cleanser on usually. So I usually just have the cleanser next to my bed. So I'll do this up at the sink when I'm brushing my teeth and then I'll go lay down for bed and I'll put the milk on and it's always just feels so luxurious. So I usually dot it like this because it's, it's a really interesting texture because it's not heavy at all. Um, and it very much, it doesn't feel oily. It very much just goes into the skin and feels hydrating. And I just do this, Michelle, I just do it once at night. I don't, and you know, dermatologists, estheticians might frown upon that. I find that it works. So I just do it once at night and then I don't need hydration the next morning and I'm good to go. I don't find that I need to do it again in the morning, but I wash my sheets a lot. So I, I hope that helps. Um, I don't know. I just, I like to conserve the product and I, I'm lazy to be honest. And so that works for me. So once this goes in, it feels very hydrated and it's it's a very concentrated formula, so a little bit goes a long way, and it works really well. And I actually put it on my lips too, because my lips get really dry in the winter, and this is the only thing that helps. Um, the toner helps 
we have people that with, with the milk and toner that swear by it for any skin condition. Anytime you have a rash, anytime you have a sunburn, anytime your kids have something weird going on, this is amazing and it doesn't sting. It's the only thing my kids will let me put on. I've wished I've had it on video before when my sons are like, give me some milk because they know it's the only thing that's not going to sting and it's going to actually help if they get a sunburn or something. So anyway, that is my story. So just to kind of round it up, Clarisonic, no Clarisonic um, for me. I'm just telling you what worked for me. I don't know what works for everyone else. I know a lot of people swear by it. Um, which, like I said, I loved it in the beginning. Um, I got rid of anything that's harsh, anything that scrubs. Pretty much I only use these few things. Um, have you tried it on your dry hands? Oh my gosh, it makes... <laughs> It makes such a difference. I feel like such a, so gluttonous when I use it on my hands, but, um, but yeah, it works on any kind of dry skin that you have, no matter how dry it is. Feet, we have people that use it on their cracks on their feet and it's like overnight, it's completely better. Um, so that, then I just stopped using anything besides the milk products, which are here. And, and as opposed to, I know some I just like to kind of say this because some people think, oh, they're your products, you sell them. So of course you love them. Of course you're going to talk about them. It's kind of the other way around. The only reason that I sell them is because I found them and they saved my skin. And I'm a makeup, um, I have a makeup company and obviously makeup looks better on pretty, pretty skin and happy skin and not irritated skin. So for me, it was more like I need to get people's skin where it could be and where it's the happiest and the healthiest in order for this makeup to look as beautiful as it can. So it's really like, which came first, the chicken or the egg? In this case, the product was amazing first and that's why I brought it onto our line. I really had no intention of bringing milk onto our line. I had no intention of doing skincare until I found these products um, because I'm not a dermatologist. I have no idea what I'm doing, but once I found someone that really, really, really did and we could team up, it was pretty amazing. So. There is my story. Um, hopefully this helps some of you. I know how frustrating it can be um, to have that adult acne coming out of the clear blue sky or even if it's bothered you your whole life. This has been a miracle for me and so I just wanna spread it far and wide. So remember Monday, $75. If you have an artist, for sure go, th go through your artist. If you don't have an artist, um, we can help you find one so they can help you find the products that are perfect for you. That's what I love about this system though, is it's very simple. You cannot go wrong. There's not a trillion products. There's not a trillion serums. It helps with discoloration. It helps with skin texture. It helps with acne. It is amazing. So thanks you guys. Thank you and, and, and my pants. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon.